One key warning sign for a cult is that they tell people who to associate with. Do you tell people who they should spend time with and who they should stay away from? Um, yes, I do. <laughs> I say to them things like, you should spend time with people who love you. You should spend time with people who care about you, who are kind to you, who want you to grow, who want you to change positively, who want you to be loving, who want you to be truthful. You spend people with time with people who care about, you know, your pro the progress of your soul. If you've got people around you who don't care about those things and attack you and think, don't spend time with them, you know. I definitely say to people that. Don't, mm. don't spend time with people who attack you, treat you badly, who want to humiliate you, can't be condescending to you, pull you down all the time. Don't spend time with them. Those people are just going to pull your whole life down and they're not going to encourage you to be a better you. You know, yeah. they're going to make things worse for you. That's what they're going to do. You don't need to spend time with those kind of people. So what I've found is that there's people of all different types of religions who are of the first type, you mm -hmm. know, who are encouraging, optimistic, positive. And then there's people of all different types of religions who are of the second type, who are discouraging, negative, you know, pessimistic, pull people down. There's people of all different types of scientific communities who are positive, optimistic, really good people to spend time with. Then there's people of the same kind of communities that are negative. What I find is in every walk of life, there are people who are either positive, optimistic, you know, who are kind, loving, want you to do the best for your life, enjoy your progression, enjoy your successes. And then there's all these other kinds of people who are terrible, attacking, pull you down, destructive. You know, you don't want to spend time with those kind of people. Leave those people to themselves. Yeah. Spend time with people who are going to help you progress and feel the, and, and feel the joy of your own progression. Mm -hmm. So certainly that's what I would encourage people to do. I don't make a rule for them about doing it. Many people I observe in our day-to-day -day life spend time with the second group of people all the time yep. and, and ignore the first group of people all the time. Mm -hmm. They spend time with the second group of people, the people who are attacking and belittling, because they're afraid of them and they try to appease them and they try to, you know, please them and make their attacks go away and, you know, in the end that's just feeding the attack. Yep. That's pretty pointless and that's what I observe most people doing. And the people that are really nice, that are great to spend time with, that are encouraging and really good to, you know, in terms of encouraging you to be optimistic and positive and, and desire to progress, you know, very few people seem to spend time with them for some reason. I don't really understand why, because, there's, because they're not afraid of them yeah. is, a big, is a big reason probably. And what I feel is that we need to spend more time with the people who we're not afraid of and less time with the people who actually are attacking and belittling and controlling and, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of people. You know, we don't need them in our lives, really. And that's regardless, I'm assuming you're saying that from your, your examples, it's regardless of what that person personally believes. believes yeah. It's more about their attitude it's, towards It's all you. about their attitude. Yep. So they can be a Christian and have a really lovely attitude or a Christian and want to murder you. Yeah. They can be a Muslim and have a really lovely attitude or a Muslim and want to murder you. They can be a scientist who has a really love attitude or a scientist who wants to murder you. They can have a political party, you know, in Australia here it's Labor and Liberal. They could be of any one of those two political parties and really be nice people. Mm -hmm. Or they can want to murder you or, or treat you badly or belittle you or humiliate you or be condescending to you or, or whatever. Why would you want to spend time with them based on what they know. Surely you would rather spend time with them based on what you feel from them. Yeah. And what I feel is that we all need to learn to spend more time with people who are encouraging, uplifting, desiring love, desiring truth, desiring progression, desiring success, de desiring all of these things, and less time with people who do the opposite. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. But I don't make any rules about it. It's up to you what you do with your life. But I can assure you, if you follow my advice on that regard, you'll have a much happier life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you find that you've let go of all the people who are negative, condescending, humiliating and all that, and you've not attracted this other group of people, well, there's something going on in your soul there that you have to work on. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you would be attracting this other group of people who are more positive. Mm. Mm.